Hey folks, welcome to the second episode of JavaScript Oops Under the Hood. And in this series, we are going to create a very small banking application where we can create um, customers uh, and we can store certain properties uh, about them like name, account balance, branch, and we can have uh, some small methods that can uh, increase uh, or add money in their balance and some methods to fetch balance and we are also going to create some special kind of users that have access to all the privileges to all the properties that the uh, normal customer has but apart from that we can add extra functionalities to them that is like we can we can have salary users that are having uh, we can store salaries we can have a function that can fetch their salaries and yeah i think that is pretty much the overall context that of what we are going to build and let's look into the examples on how we can uh, create these application um, in, with the help of objects let's start with the very uh, basic approach that uh, we can have a const with a const customer one that that will be storing our properties like the name is alex the account balance is 100 the branches uh xyz the add we have a add money uh function that can uh add plus one to the uh, account balance although doesn't make sense but just for the sake of uh example we are doing this and then we are doing customer one dot add money which is we are calling we are referencing to customer one in the memory and we have uh, add money function attached and we are calling it then we are logging the account balance in the very next line that would print out 101 for us pretty straightforward and we are doing the same thing uh, for customer 2 we are sending name jane account balance 200 branch xyz and add money as the same function but let's suppose if a new customer comes um, in our application then we are going to repeat the same process again and again for every user which we want to avoid so uh, can we uh, automate this process can we do it make it a little better so that we don't have to create objects from scratch yeah i think we can do so and this would be the uh, little uh, better version of this code snippet so what we are doing here is we are creating a function that is create customer it is having parameters as name account balance and branch and in that particular function we are uh, declaring a constant customer one and assigning all those properties to it along with that add money function that is going to increase our balance and we are returning that customer object from there pretty straightforward so let's do a very quick uh, dry run of this uh, code snippet uh, in our global memory and, and in the execution context and we are gonna look why uh, being a better approach this uh, this particular uh, approach is having one flaw so let's create a gl our global memory and in the global memory uh, if you have not seen the first video i'll recommend go check out the first video to understand what is global memory and execution context and uh, why we are doing it so uh, the links are uh, the link of the first video is in description so coming back to the topic we are uh, creating a create customer function which uh, is a function over here this will uh, store um um ev and everything that is under inside the curly braces as it is in the uh, memory block from line 1 to line 10 and next we are um, declaring a const customer1 and javascript doesn't knows uh, what to store because it has to execute the uh, create customer function so let's do it we are doing const customer1 equals to create customer and we are signing alex xyz 
we will create an execution context this would be the local memory okay so uh, when javascript executes this function in the local memory we will be having uh, the value of the uh, parameters so the name would be having value alex as passed over here the account balance will be having value 100 and our branch will be having a value of xyz okay next javascript creates uh, a const customer which is an empty object okay and in this empty object javascript is adding properties that is name to alex count balance to 100 the branch yz and we are also adding a method add money which is a function this object uh, is being returned um, on the line 9 we are returning this whole thing out of here one thing to note is that uh, when we are returning we are only returning this object not uh, this label customer okay so when uh, this return would be provided over here to us and the customer one would be having name as alex our account balance as 100 our branch as yz and add money function along with the object okay next we are doing the same for customer 2 we are calling the same function but with some different arguments this time so can you guess the uh, output of this function call create customer everything uh, would be same over here same have this execution context and so the output of this customer 2 would be name as jane we are doing account balance as 200 and the branch yz and we will again have the add money function along with this object so this solves our problem of creating uh, objects again and again from scratch that we had in the code snippet one but uh, as you can see uh, in the global memory we are having copies of add money functions in this approach if there are let's suppose 100 100 of customers then there would be 100 of 100 copies of add money function uh, in our global memory which would be a wastage of memory and would lead to memory memory leak so can there be some way uh, in which we can um, instead of having copies of add money function in every object we if they can somehow reference to a very common uh, uh, to a common source of this add money function like instead of having this uh, function as it is, as it is copied instead they can point to that particular instance of uh, add money function and they can call it from there so that we can avoid having multiple copies in every object and have that function in just one place so yeah that is possible and we are going to see that approach uh, in the next video so this was all in this video see you in the next one